Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the features that you will notice in the Windows 11 version, which will be released this year, as a 2024 update or 24H2, which is the major release of Microsoft every year. So, without further ado, let's begin. Windows Recall is one of the few AI features that has been delayed and will only be available at the beginning for Copilot Plus PCs. It is an app that runs in the background and captures snapshots of everything you see and do on your computer. You can search for anything you've ever done on your PC, with natural language and a timeline interface with the ability to scroll back through all the snapshots, that have been captured over the time you've set. You can capture apps, sentences, web pages, documents, photos, videos, and more. The data saved is stored locally, and you can easily turn it off. Windows Recall was postponed, due to security issues at the initial release, and will most likely not be a part of the initial Windows 11 24H2 release. The Windows Studio Effects feature uses AI to enhance video and audio in any app, by applying certain effects. It also has quick settings support with background blur, eye correction, portrait light, and illustrative filters which are the only thing specific to Windows 11 24H2. On Copilot Plus PCs, the Live Captions app will have the power to translate more than 40 languages in real-time, or for pre-recorded content. In the Paint app of Windows 11, 24H2, for Copilot Plus PCs, there is a new feature called Image Creator, which allows you to create an image based on a description and a selected style. A similar feature available in the Paint app, also works for the new Photos app. This Copilot Plus PC uses AI to make supported games play more smoothly, and provide users with enhanced details. The new Copilot app has been downgraded to a web app, with an updated UI and sidebar. It can be pinned on the taskbar and acts like a normal app, that can also be uninstalled. This has been rolling to Windows 11 for quite a while but Windows 11 24H2 should bring it to all users. There is also a new feature of Voice Clarity, which is an AI feature that removes background noise in calls and recordings, to provide better audio response to the users. The File Explorer in Windows 11 24H2, has some context menu improvements, such as when you right-click on a file, you get the action icons with labels at the top, and also the ability to create archives in different formats. The quick settings in Windows 11 brings a new scrollable view, a Wi-Fi connections refresh button, VPN, and Live Captions integration. The taskbar in Windows 11 will have new app thumbnails and animations in the future. Alongside with that, new keyboard controls to jump through apps, by pressing Windows plus T. And also a new shortened time and date. Other things that can be noted would be a new Wi-Fi animation, when connecting. And a more visible progress bar designed for apps. Related to networking, Microsoft is introducing support for Wi-Fi 7, and also the ability to see the Wi-Fi password in the settings app, and a QR code to connect to the network. The Settings app in Windows 11 24H2, brings a new Color Management page, an AI Components page which was delayed with Recall. Hearing aids with Bluetooth Low Energy Audio Technology, Bluetooth and Devices Improvements along with a new Microsoft Test section. 
Microsoft also includes new location request notifications from apps in privacy and security, and new mouse options, such as enhanced pointer precision and changing scrolling direction. Finally, we will also have Windows protected print mode support for certain printers without needing third-party drivers. The new phone link app is receiving quite a lot of updates, with the new file explorer integration that allows you to easily copy files to your PC, from your phone. Windows 11 24H2, brings battery life improvements for your laptops, a new energy saving icon in the system tray of quick settings, also a new power and battery controls in the settings app. The task manager is also getting some improvements with the new settings page and mic integration. Microsoft is also bringing new command line support for sudo directly in Windows 11, however, it is disabled by default in your PC. To enable it, you will have to go to the settings app then system, and select, for developers option, here you will get the option to enable the sudo command, and configure according to your choice. The Microsoft Teams in Windows 11 24H2, is a unified app for both school, work and personal users, with the new ability to switch between accounts in the app, also with different notifications for different accounts. There are some apps that are removed from Windows 11 24H2R, Cortana, Mail, Calendar, Maps, People, WordPad and Movies and TV, and other less known services have also been deprecated. BitLocker in Windows 11 24H2, will be automatically enabled on clean installs, but can be easily disabled. Windows 11 24H2, includes a new OS media setup, with a new legacy setup page and a revamped second half of OOBE. For Microsoft account users, you'll get two options, either install Windows 11, or repair your PC, after the installation, you will notice that Microsoft is enabling Windows Spotlight by default, which provides you with new wallpapers each day, you can also change them according to your choice. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.